Honestly, it comes down to just a love of amazing music. That's really the main reason. 30 years since the death of Dorfle seemed like a good excuse to play these pieces all together again. The Prelude and Fugue on the Avalon is just incredibly remarkable, uh, based on a, a theme that he himself has kind of devised by extending the alphabet uh, to include the letters A-L-A-I-N. And uh, this piece is a tribute, and it incorporates uh, not only this, the name itself into the piece and, and it inspires almost every motive in the piece, uh, but also incorporates Alain's most uh, famous piece, Litanies, which is a, a simple chant-like tune uh, which he himself, uh, in his piece, explores in an incredible variety of ways, and obviously, uh, inspired Durfle to write this piece. For me, the most substantial work is the Prelude, Adagio, and Choral Variations on Vene Creator Spiritus. Uh, and I think it's his most monumental work for the organ. Uh, and not just in terms of it, its sheer size and the length of the piece, but uh, the depth with which he explored uh, harmony and counterpoint and, uh, and texture. Um, there are moments where there are just one or two voices playing to seven, eight to ten voices all playing at once and how he morphs from one moment to the next with utter smoothness and control uh, and uh, natural, uh, a natural sound uh, is, is absolutely inspiring and glorious and all of it based on the chant. What's remarkable about this music to me and what makes me so passionate about it is the fact that everything on the page serves a purpose. I'd like to say that even though Durfle was nowhere near as prolific as Johann Sebastian Bach, they share, or their legacies, share the same attribute that for all the counterpoint, harmony, uh, melody, rhythm, all those individual elements, uh, what exists in the end is simply beautiful music. This is the great thing about this music and all great music. You can play it one time or a thousand times and each time you will learn something new about it. You'll notice something that you didn't notice before and each instrument allows that to happen. So uh, while I may not play the complete works of Maurice Durfle for a, for a while as a program after the 12th concert, I won't be tired of it.